The Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 is infamous for not receiving updates officially but is a phone that has such a huge community of users and developers that even though the last update was technically of Android 9, the developers have pushed out yet another latest version of Android for the phone in the form of a port. I've been using this Android 12 port since two weeks. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm your host Rishabh from Ascending Techie and in this video, we will take a look at what's new in Android 12 and how it performs. So as usual, let's start with installation. Download the port from the Telegram channel link below and make sure you read what's not working here. Make sure you clean flash as well. Backup can be restored but I'm not sure about your home screen layout being restored. The notifications look different than on 11 but I honestly like the ones on 11. The new style makes all the notifications from different apps look kinda similar and I don't like it. Then you have quick settings on top with an accent color which doesn't yet change with your wallpaper. Then the newsfeed is on the left but if you open any of them it just crashes and doesn't work. The wallpaper settings UI looks improved along with a bunch of live wallpapers. Rest remains the same. The widget UI looks cleaner with all the apps labeled making it less cluttered. Bubbles is also functional by default. The new media player also looks clean and now shows the accent color instead of the colors from album art. Safety net test does not pass and you won't be able to log into GPay but PTM may work. Fingerprint is working and face unlock does not exist here. Moving to the settings, you come across a better UI for the settings but you also see a weird decision of switching from black to grey for dark mode which I absolutely hate. A lot of features like one handed mode, lift to check phone and fingerprint swipe don't work but the prevent ringing feature does work. Now let's talk about performance. In short, it's not good. RAM management is terrible. Similarly, gaming performance is also really bad with the game stuttering and the device barely able to run it. The same goes with battery. Charging is very slow and screen on time is terrible. Battery depletes fast with normal usage or on idle and gaming should not at all be questioned. There's no screen on time counter here but I'll say it barely reaches 4 hours of screen on time. Something else that I've found troublesome is that maps does not work well on mobile data. The OS also has issues with opening heavy apps and struggles to load a lot of data at once. So this is what the new update of Android 12 which is actually not intended for this phone looks like. What you're looking at here is a half-baked pie made for the Pixel phones which then got ported for the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 and thus it is even more half-baked. This is why a lot of the features have been broken and most of the new things don't work. If you just want to try out the bleeding edge update of Android 12 then you might give it a try for a day or two but I don't see this as something that you can use for everyday usage. For me, I can't wait to switch back to AeroOS which has daily updates and I did a review on it previously and it is really good and amazing for performance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, be kind to everyone.